Welcome back to part three of this video series where I'm gonna be showing exactly how I'm flipping this high-end home. Uh, this is over a million dollar home, 1.4, maybe even now 1.5 million on the resale price is what we're shooting for on this house. And on this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meet with my partner, he's my brother, um, and we're gonna go through all of the redesign that we're doing on this house. We're making quite a few changes. I talked about some of them in video two, if you watch video two. Um, we've made even some additional changes to what I talked about in that video. And we've got the framer here, we've done the demo, we've got the framing, so we've redesigned a lot of the kitchen right behind me. Uh, we've redesigned the casita room and the, the whole um, mother-in-law suite, and we've redesigned the master bath, a little bit over here of the, of the uh, pantry and where there was like a tech room. And these changes we feel are gonna drastically affect the layout of this house, um, it's gonna be just so much better. It's gonna be very high end. So really excited about that. And these are these are changes that are very inexpensive right now because it's just framing and drywall um, and moving around some of the mechanicals. But we'll have a huge return on investment on the back end. So let's check it out. Here we go. And does that look so much better, Bob, with that pillar gun? And it wasn't low bearing. Just opens this up so much. Makes that room look bigger too. I know, and you're really gonna wipe down here. And then see, I doubled up the pantry. So how was that? It was, oh, right here, you can see it. Yeah. This was that media this room. This little media room, and I was like, forget that. So there was a door right there, came into this little yeah. room. You opened that up and made Move that, that door over. Oh, because it was right there. It was right there, moved this over, and, and made this here. big pantry. Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna put like a two thousand dollar fridge in there, so uh -huh. now they can have like the Costco yeah. overflow. So before they had um, a wing wall right here, mm -hmm. and then this was open. Yeah, a walkway. And they had right a there. Wing, wing wall right here, and then they had this set up to here. Yeah. So the cool. cabinets will kind of start right here. They'll carry around, they'll carry around like this. I'll tell you a story about the hood that I figured out and then come around here and then we'll have big double fridges right here. And then you move the island vertical. Turn the island, so now you're sitting here, now you have a huge 10 foot island. I'm gonna move this plumbing into this, we should be fine. Is it gonna overhang on one side yeah. for stools? Yeah, so your sink will be like right here and you're 24 inches out. And then you'll have like the, the 15-inch overhang. That'll be so nice. So now you're gonna get five bar stools. Everybody's hanging out here. And you'll still have room to fit a table over here. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. Because it's a little tight, right? We're gonna eliminate this. Oh. You can access the outside with right. the slider. And we're gonna do a little simple built-in that'll come around, a sit-in bench, and then we'll get a table that'll sit right here. Oh. So that whole side will have built-in built chairs. In. So you'll still have room. Yeah. And otherwise, it's such a weird space. So I felt like a built-in there would be pretty cool. People like built-ins. Uh huh. That'll be fun. So what's nice about here is you come in. Nobody was ever going to put a couch here anyways because the original plan had an island and an island. Yeah, double island. So your couch is going to go right here. This is a little bit of a small area, but it could be plenty of room, four or five feet walking through right there. And then everybody's gonna be staring at this huge kitchen they have. And this is way bigger than its normal house. Oh, it's a huge kitchen. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna do a very full wrap. Yeah. All the way around, it's gonna yeah. be massive. Huge I'm coming in on my cabinet budget still, so I'm really happy I'm not. Mm hmm This you just... This is the pool, this is the so bathroom I'm to the pool. I'm gonna make that, you're gonna see, that's a pool game uh -huh. room now. That's Shower's gone, toilet stays, pedestal stays. We fill this in, keep this door. And then I put another shower. That way it's just a toilet. This is such a huge bonus to begin with. It's awesome. Yeah, cause the pool, yeah. it's gonna come right out to the pool, so. So let me take, come over here, Jaren, I'll show you the next one. Jerry, I'm gonna make this a true casita now, because they put it. They already had a fancy door. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. 
I feel like this should be its own casita and I feel like this needs to be the bed wall. So I'm gonna frame this in. So the only way you can get in here would be from that private fancy door that's already Not installed. Not from the garage. So it's, it's, it's a true casita, yeah. right? Okay. And you walk in and then we, we gutted all that. So now instead of that, originally this was gonna be the kitchen. Yeah. They had this as a kitchen, they had this as like a little dining, living, which didn't make any sense. So now you'll go through this little hallway and then you'll have shower, right? Okay. Toilet. Keeping the window? Yeah, just for a little bit of light. Yeah. Like just a just little one right Like here. frost it? Yeah. Yeah. And then to this side, this is your closet. Okay, so that over there is the closet. Now there's windows here, and I. In order cares? to save costs and all that, we're just gonna have hanging shelves. We'll just do a whole wall of whatever right here. Door swings. And just put some blinds up or yeah. something, yeah. So now you have a true detached casita, and I'm gonna do a little kitchenette right here. And because our plumbing's already in this original okay. wall, we'll do a little sink, a little micro, and a six hundred dollar undercounter. And fridge. there's no access to that other room back there. Correct. Okay, on purpose. S on purpose. Wow. So now you feel like you're a guest. You come and go as a guest. Because you got this door right here. And whenever I do this in Paradise Valley, this is exactly what I do. I have a separated room with a little kitchenette. And it's like, oh, it's a casita. It's under the same roof. And then if they use it as a casita, the bed goes right here. And then I'm going to take the same thing that they already wired and put the TV right here. So I'm not going to do any upper cabinets. And that bed will fit because that door's being because eliminated. Because that door gets framed in, it's plenty so of room. So right there, and the door will swing open, it'll be fine. You have plenty of room. And then look how huge that room is back there. So come in here now. So you only access this from the outside. Yeah. I had Ruben, we framed it just in case somebody at some point in time goes, hey, I want access to that. So you don't want to just put the door in because maybe they don't. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ideally, I don't want to do that because I want them to feel like it. Like I want, when the drywall's up, they're not even going to know this room's back Yeah. Here. I'm going to give people options on what they want to do. Right now, we're thinking workout room. It's this huge. Could be, this could be an art studio. All the ceiling will be redone, so it's just a huge square. And then right there's that door we just looked at into that bathroom. Yes, yeah. yeah, so now, You'll have a door so that if this is a pool room, Jerry, and you're in here blowing this crap up with your kids, uh -huh. you can have a bathroom. And this is big enough for a pool table, ping pong, yeah. big TV. Yeah. You could do like a you could do like a big TV on that wall, yeah. right? So you can see originally or on this everything wall. that was a wall on the floor. This was so chopped up. Yeah, the original plan. Yeah, so originally what was here was a one bedroom casita with a kitchenette. We still have made it a one bedroom casita with a kitchenette. It's just like way more open. Yeah. This turned out awesome, Bob. Didn't it? It feels yeah. so much more open. 12 foot ceilings. Oh man. Okay. Oh my gosh, blew this place up. So none of this was load bearing. None of it. So originally the tub was gonna go right here. Mm -hmm. And you're standing in one toilet room and there's another toilet room. And the shower was this itty bitty dark hole right in there. I remember, remember. that's the shower and that's the steam. Mm -hmm. So to, to, we just got rid of all of that. And then what we're doing is toilet, shower, toilet, natural light with a window. Because we're on a basement, Lamar's not going to have to jack up open all the floors. He's going to do it all from underneath. Because this is all on the basement. Now, if you remember, originally, this was a vanity. So you're going to be in front of here, but then see how that would have been a walkway? Mm -hmm. So we're like, what the heck? You would have, think about it. You got your shower right here. Your vanity comes right here. You would have been like, to walk to your back, <laughs> to your closet. So now Ruben's going to frame this out to here. We're gonna put a barn door right here. So you come around and you can see. So now instead of having door issues, you can do full counter depth vanity. So we're gonna okay. do vanity, tub, vanity where Ruben's standing. So from a from an elevate from an elevation point of view, you kind of have it all mirroring where you have. And look at how deep that shower is now, Jared. Yeah. You're in the master shower right now. 
It's huge. So it goes from, from yeah, there. Yeah, he's gonna drop the ceiling right here, but it goes from right here. So you're gonna have open shower doors. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna have a shower head where we do a big bench right here. Think about when you come in to buy this, you're gonna be like, holy crap, this shower. It's gonna take up that whole length. Shower comes right here. Yeah. So then this will be your walkway, and we're gonna do a, a tub right here, which will come out to about right here. So you have about, what, six feet, seven yep. feet? Total on a floor wall. plan, it looks like this. Like looking down. Mm -hmm. And then here's the closet opening right here. So this would be open. And, and then here's right this here. opening right here. And then the floor plan will look like this. So toilet, shower, right? The bench. And then I, I messed that up. It needs to be like this more. And then another toilet. So you're getting double toilets, which nobody gets toilet. in a price point like this. Yeah, toilet. You're getting the world's biggest shower, which no one gets in a uh -huh. price point like this. And then <laughs> and you're your gonna, tub. Then you're gonna get, uh, hey Ruben, how big are these vanities gonna be? Like six feet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six, six, uh, six. So what is this, 18? 18, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna have a six foot tub, six foot. Everything's like symmetrical. It's like the perfect size. Man, what a great redesign, Bob. That's gonna be so well, awesome. And what's awesome, I will tell you that, remember I've been telling you this, if you have ceiling height, you can do everything. Yeah. But none of this was load bearing. So when me and Ruben were in here, it took us a couple times in about an hour to go, how are we gonna do this? At one point I was gonna put the shower right here. <laughs> And then eventually Ruben came up with it more of, hey, just do bar Z, which is another house where it's just toilet, shower, toilet. Yeah. All these weird windows are gonna go away. We're just gonna have the one big open. <laughs> we're gonna bring natural in light. all natural light. But, Get rid of that one. But at okay. the same time, your your shower's in here, so tons of natural light. It's it's gonna I, I'm really happy with how this turned out.